But for you, the hottest part was still to come because the weather was so bad. Yeah, the weather was getting bad and I had to go back down. It was so steep that I'd start sliding down the mountain and uh, he would throw the ice axe in the ground and jump on top of it and then the rope would catch me, <laughs> prevent me from sliding, you know, falling down the mountain. We were the last ones on the mountain. I mean, everybody else had summited and were already on their way back down. And the wind? It was starting to become like a survival situation. The wind, at this point, it. It was nightfall, the wind had picked up. It was so loud that you couldn't hear yourself talking. We were screaming to one another. We were, everybody was huddled around me, you know, locked arms and stuff like that. And I remember coming up to the rock face. We saw some trekking poles on the ground. I looked around the rock, it was a French climber. He was dead, he had uh, uh, no pulse, frozen. And uh, at that point, we were kind of like, we gotta get out of here, like, uh, you know, this is getting serious now. The wind had picked up significantly. Tim says there were a few moments coming down that mountain when he really thought you guys might not make it. They were really nervous about like how physically how I was doing because I was really exhausted. I was taking short steps. I was just completely drained of energy, but I just kept on going, going as much as I could. A single person that would have been, you know, uh, against like insurmountable odds like that, you know, a single person probably wouldn't have made it. But as a team, we were strong and uh, we all relied on each other. We all trusted each other. And I knew that if anything were to happen, like, you know, Tim, the other guys would go above and beyond to, you know, get me out of there.